What's up guys, Ernie here, back with another episode with iFish Fresh and Salty guys. This is my YouTube channel. If you guys are new, welcome. And I would greatly appreciate it if you guys hit that subscribe button and obviously like these videos as well, guys. So, boy oh boy, I have a great episode for you guys here. Actually, a great adventure. So pretty much, as you guys can see on my fillet table, I did have an epic trip unbelievable guys so i do have some more in the ingle staying ice cold had a ridiculous trip obviously you guys are gonna see it this is a trip to remember first time targeting crappie and i want to do a shout out to my friend you guys will hear that and see him later to my friend marcel he invited me on a spurt of the moment trip went out and you could actually keep 25 of these per day i ended up taking home 19 I caught 19 and a beautiful surprise channel catfish guys it weighed out to 6.4 ounces I mean just an absolutely beauty so stick around I'll see you guys back at the fillet table gonna cook something up good and enjoy the adventure guys we'll see you later all right see you guys what is going on guys got a big trip ahead of me Got everything loaded up to go. Got a big invite from my friend that kind of late lotus yesterday and packed everything. So I got my cooler, I got my rods, I got my net, everything that you need for fishing. And let's go ahead and check the inside of my truck. I got my bag for my clothes, um, the live bait, sleeping stuff. So pretty cool i got it like i said i got an invite from a friend and we're gonna go after crappie guys so i've been targeting these species for a little while and just had no luck uh catching them and targeting them so super stoked i got about a two and a half hour commute right now i will see you guys when we get to the cottage i'm actually staying in the cottage private docks so excited let's have some fun i'll see you guys in a little bit All right guys, just backing in right now and two and a half, maybe a little bit more than that, little drive and we're here. My buddy's outside of the little cabin cottage, whatever you want to call it. So let's go, let's go say what's up. Let's go check it out. Oh man, beautiful. So this is where we're at right now. Heck yeah, I'm gonna be unloading in a little bit. So let's go check out my friend Marcel. Mars, where you at? There he is, guys. Big shout out. I really wanna do a big shout out. This guy called me out of nowhere yesterday in the morning and I appreciate he did. That was a first come, first serve, and I'm out here. We're gonna be checking this out in a little bit, guys, where I'm at, but I want to say what's up, brother. I really appreciate what's it, up, man. man. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm just in relaxed mode right now, vacation, kind of celebrating my birthday a little bit. So yeah, I'm, you know, so lazy clothes. Lazy clothes, and I'm a little tired. Like I said, two and a half plus hours. I'm gonna unload right now. All right, guys. So it is the evening. We had a delicious dinner. My boy hooked it up with delicious ribs, and this is the docks that we're gonna be fishing. Pretty cool docks. You could say they're private docks. We might be the only ones fishing. There is somebody fishing right there, but we are gonna be doing nighttime, nighttime crappie fishing. Super excited. I am gonna be having a uh, uh, catfish set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that out with some anchovies and then wait for the sun go down. And hopefully we get, hopefully we get the the night bite going and my first time hooking up into some crappie. So 
Once again, guys, we are using some, or one of the techniques we're gonna be using some live minnows that I do have nice and fresh here. So yeah, I am using my Ingle Live bait cooler. Love this thing, first time using it. So see you guys in a second. Go ahead and turn it on, Mars. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put a live minnow on here. I'm gonna go ahead and take them out and get a nice live one. Actually, let's go, go ahead and get another one. I'll get that guy in a second. So, you guys can see that. We're gonna go ahead and just put a, I have a, a size six hook. Must that hook offset. I'm just gonna go put him through underneath his chin, through his nose. And I got about eight feet of a slip bobber. And see if we get that. It is a little early right now, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot. That's pretty much it right there. So we're gonna, uh, and also do have about, I don't know, about nine, 10 inches. I got a little uh, split shot. Just keep the bobber down. Yeah? Yep. <laughs> My first copy. Shut up, he's in there. Don't rush it. I know. Oh, he's big. He's big. Yes. On a live minnow, guys. Oh my God, I've been on it for like oh. two hours. Got him, got him. He's good, it's official. Oh yes. my Your God. Your first copy. I told you he was uh. gonna come, and he's a whopper. Heck yeah, All right, guys. Him, All right, come, are you serious? Oh my god. On a live minnow, guys. Is that a beauty or what? Oh my god, man. Oh my gosh. Feels really good, man. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and put it. Which one? This one? All right, let's put them in this live wall here, guys. Number one. Hopefully, there's more to come. Let's check out mine, too. Beautiful. Let's see here. Marcel's caught two. I didn't get them three, on camera. Three, oh, three in there. Okay. So hopefully we can get a little bit more. Where's the other one at? They're in there. Oh, yeah. Marcel got another one. Marcel's getting that. Let's go, baby. Number two. Oh my God, you must get it. Holy smokes. Beautiful, off the jig, yeah. right on the drop. Beautiful, oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. No Where's it at? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dang, that's the biggest one of the night. Look at that on the drop too, bro. Right on, man. Oh my God, my camera almost went in. Holy Toledo. Thank you, man. You're the savior of the day right now, man. All right, guys, that's number two. We'll measure them up and weigh them up a little bit later. Looks like the bite's getting a little, little hot here. Put them in. Boom. Another fish, guys. Live minnow. Heck yeah, I wish you guys could see. Sorry that it's dark. He's a runner. Nice slab. I'm gonna I'm gonna go that way because or can you reach it? Oh yeah. Yes, thank you, man. I've come on over. There it is, guys. Beautiful slab. Probably put him in. I don't know. A minute. Came through. Another slab. Number three. Perfect hook set. Top of the mouth. 
Nice. Beautiful fish. Nice. Nice and heavy. Into the live well with my other two. Oh yeah. Let's go. Oh, nice one. Oh my gosh. It's a little slab city. Jesus Christ. Thank you, man. Oh my gosh. Whew. Big boys. Jeez. Oh, I got my catfish pole. I thought you were talking about this pole. No, no, I think you're still. Get that off. Then get the net. But we're just talking about beautiful giant sized crappies. Look at that. Gorgeous, man. Been trying for like two years after these guys. And we're getting them. Yeah, Bloody Marcel. Bloody. Into our whale. Beautiful. Nice. We're still hidden. Still hidden. Let's keep at it. This is the lucky ticket today, guys. Right there. Love it. Yeah, so, little update guys, we're slaying them, little by little, we're, we're out here. What time is it, Mars? Give you guys a time, I'm not too sure. But I just got that live bobber about eight feet down. What time is it? Ten thirty. Yeah, and they're starting to come around, hopefully, uh, hopefully that bite gets a little bit picks up a little bit more but I think we had an epic night bro oh yeah this is epic for you dude you came this back. is like you just catch I know man this is like just you know a fisherman's dream you know especially catching the best tasting you know I've never tasted it but I just heard so many stories yeah and you got enough to definitely now you know look at yeah. that yeah. beautiful it was the smallest one of the day and still nice weight to it Check that out guys. I don't even know what number this is, but catching slabs out here with my buddy. Beautiful time, epic time. We're tired and it's 12.54. Here we go. That's what's up. No way. No way, dude. Oh, no, it doesn't. It, uh, I have pretty heavy gear, but we got a fish on, bro. Oh my God, guys. Are you serious? Ooh, he's nice. Oh my God, what is that? No way. That's a giant, bro. Fighting. Come on. I got him. Oh my god! That's a freaking giant! That's a giant! Are you serious? To end up the night. Are you freaking serious right now? We're gonna flay him, bro. To Guys, hold on. Guys, this lighting sucks, dude. Here. Hold on. Holy shit, Ernie, you were getting a bite. Dude. What did that hit off of the anchovy? Anchovy, we gotta put it back out. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh That's my god. Man. Stay right there, Mars. Stay right there. Alright, guys. Just hooked up to a freaking catfish. Just literally threw it out, what, Mars? No more than five minutes. Yeah. And. Oh, you just threw a fresh one on? No, the same one that was over there. The same bait? Same, same bait. bait. The, oh. the, the same anchovy. Farther or closer? About. 
That's a giant, bro. A good Look how fat he is, bro. He's a good eight pounder, ten pounder. Are you handle him, bro? I'm gonna go see my pro and get him. Oh my god. Guys, a freaking toad. A freaking toad. Are you serious? That's a gigantic catfish, guys. Welcome back, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy that cool adventure. Man, that was just some something that I'm always gonna remember for the rest of my life. I mean, first time targeting these slabs i mean these are pan fish guys but you have to remember a regular crappie size is from eight ten inches i mean these are the the smallest i caught was 13 inches in my personal best since it is my first he was two pounds four ounces and he goes about 15 inches exactly on the dot so that's going to be my marker to beat so one thing is too, I do apologize about the nighttime fishing. I am, and I already did actually purchase a light, so I'm not gonna have any more problems. Morning fishing, nighttime fishing, everything is gonna be ready to go, just like how it is right now during the day, this beautiful daylight. But let's go ahead and get this filleted up. I already have been working on, on all the other fish. I'm tired, I've been filleting them, vacuum sealing them, and obviously I left some for the fam. So let's go ahead and uh, fillet this beautiful uh, crappie. I'm just gonna use my um, Bass Pro Shops little uh, clamp cord so the fish doesn't slide on me. Just put him in his mouth, clamp him down. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my Dexter six inch guys. Love these knives, super sharp. Actually, probably after this session, I might have to just retone them and uh, get them back to, uh, what they're still holding their edge, but I like to have them razor sharp. So I'm just starting up on the head of the meat and go on down to the, to the tummy. So we have a nice little line going down. And I'm just gonna insert my knife on the tip of his, uh, of his, uh, his spine. And I'm just gonna insert just about, just about this much. I just wanna outline him so I can start uh, filleting off the bone. These guys, one thing that I that I did notice, they have super super scaly, hard skin, and it's like an armor, like kind of reminds me like of a sheep's head. But, but let's go ahead. I'm just right now just stroking the back, nice and easy, and it makes it even better once again with sharp knives. And if you guys do have the time, leave them over ice, overnight, I mean, on the ice. I mean, just firms out the meat so much better and it just comes out clean. I love it. So I'm just going down, nice, easy strokes. One thing that I did notice too is these have big, big rib cages, bigger than I've ever have caught. So um, they have a nice big, uh, meaty back straps but the bottom loins they're just not as meaty so right now i'm just gonna go over the big rib cage and start going down i don't want to miss any meat so i'm just gonna go down nice and gentle just take your time guys no rush and that's pretty much gonna do it right there just keep falling in your knife barely any pressure and beautiful guys, you get that nice, <clears throat> nice crappie fillet. Like I was telling you, like <clears throat> you got that back strap, top loin, and then the bottom loin just pretty much, pretty much nothing. So, um, but still, perfect, perfect fillet job. And also, I'm gonna show you guys here, since I don't have a cameraman. Look at that, big, big back strap. And if you guys can notice, that rib cage does come out. So, it's looking good pretty much no meat on there here and I like to use my nine inch Dexter guys nice flex just to get that get that bend when you want to get every single piece of the meat off of the off of the skin I like to be at the end of the table go tail side first make a little incision and just let the blade do the work just nice nice easy strokes There 
Look at this. Beautiful. There's your, there's your skin. Same thing with this guy. Make a nice little sliver so you can, you can hold on with your two fingers. That's how I like to do it. Knife is at the end of your table just so you can go back and forth, up and down. There it is. These do have pin bones. So I'm gonna go ahead and find where they're at with my, with my fingers. And they're right there in the middle of the filet. Just bring it on down. Let's make it nice and pretty, get all the extras off. Nice. There you go, nice slab of meat right there. Let's go do the other one. Find your pin bones, you could definitely feel them. They poke your finger, just be careful. And that's it guys, so you get two beautiful, maybe even an, uh, a pound, not sure, maybe it's almost, almost a pound of just this monster slab right here. Like I said, I have the other ones ready to go for us. I'll see you guys when I got everything ready to go. All right guys, just making a little setup for myself. So out here in the backyard, sun is going down and we're gonna go ahead and do a little deep fry. I did um, go ahead and make my, just a little quick flour, a little Cajun style, Louisiana style. So we're gonna be doing that. Um, yeah, so salt, pepper, Cajun, seasoning, flour, white, white flour. And let's go ahead and put this uh, peanut oil in. That's a good amount right there. Let's get it warmed up. While this is warming up, guys, we're gonna go ahead and uh, pretty much gonna do a little simple recipe. I do have a lot of coffee, so I'm gonna be doing tons of recipes, but something really quick. I'm gonna do a little beer batter, so I'm gonna be using, I don't think there's a preference of whatever you want. I like to drink this, so I'm gonna use it. So just, I'm gonna do a little bit a little bit at a time, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, whisk it up to a perfect consistency. And obviously, if you need to use more, uh, more liquid, the more beer, obviously go ahead and add more beer until it has that perfect consistency for the fish. That's it. All right, just got done. It's consistency, nice and thick, but also moving around with that nice batter. Oil is ready. I just did a little bit of droplets of the uh, of the whisk just to make sure that it's oil is ready to go. So beautiful fillets of crappie guys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lather in and I'm just gonna do one hand's gonna get a little dirty and the other hand's gonna stay clean for whatever I need it for. Just go ahead and pat them to the side like that. So we're gonna keep repeating this until all the fillets are done. Seasoning smells great, guys, so. Let's go ahead and take these off, guys. These are ready. Just got my little tray. Let the, let the oil drip instead of feeling like a paper towel. Let the oil drip a little bit. Oh my God, the smell guys, the fluffiness, are you kidding me? That baking soda does wonders if you want really, really fluffy, fluffy fillets guys. Check this out, I'll show you this in a second. Check that out. Make sure these don't fall. Beautiful. Let me go ahead and get the other slabs in there. Last batch guys, all done. Nice and crispy to perfection. Just let the remaining oil drip once again. And check that out guys. Oh my freaking Lord, unbelievable. So we're just gonna take these off here and we're gonna go ahead and serve this inside. We're having some salad, a little bit of french fries. French fry. So you could say a little, uh, little fish and chips action, but Eddie, go ahead. Our brother's behind the camera, so. Check that out, guys. Let's go inside and test this. We are in the kitchen, one of our favorite places where I like to be with my whole fam. 
Mason, go ahead and check it out. So we got an avocado tomato salad that my wife whipped up. I put a little bit of salt and pepper, give it a little, some pop. And we got some potatoes. We season them a little bit and there's that delicious fish. It's devouring right now. So let me, let me go ahead and um, grab some fish and a little bit of potatoes. It's not working on here. Let's do a little bit of hand action. And then a little bit of this delicious fresh salad, guys. You always want to make sure that you have a little bit of greens with your with your meats, guys. And also too, what you guys been seeing what I what I do out here, I mean, it doesn't take, you know, this is what I like to do. I like to, I like to cook good for my fam. You guys can do the same thing. Harvest your fish, fillet it, cut it, and feed your family, and it tastes 10 times better, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive in here. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and dive in right now. My brother um, and my mom been diving in right now, and I do have some uh, some tartar sauce and some Frank's, I think it's Frank's Red Hot Wings Buffalo Sauce. So I just wanna try it with sauce, but one without. So first thing, look at that, guys. Looks like a shark. <laughs> try it out. Are you serious? Please, okay. You just took your first bite. <laughs> Tell me right now, what, what is that? It's not fish. <laughs> <laughs> but it is fish. All the hype about crappie, guys. Mm. Like, That's oh my good. God. That's fish and chips right here. Delicious. I don't even need these sauces, guys, but we're gonna try it. A little bit of tartar sauce. Oh my god. Guys, I'm not doing it just for the video. This is like, this is real life. Like this is unbelievably good. Give this a shot, catch your fish, make it for your fam or for yourself. Eddie, go ahead and let them know what you thought. I mean, check out Eddie's plate. I think you have two plates or something going on here. I'm working on my second fish right now. There you go. So go ahead and tell them, Ed. There's no words of saying, truly amazing. My brothers always will be a good cook. But you this fish right here is probably the best fish I've ever had in my life right here. Really? This is really good. Yeah. Like, this is, like Vanessa said, nope, it doesn't taste like fish, mm -hmm. but it is fish. Look at that. Try a little buffalo guys on there. Props to you, man. Thanks, man. Really good. <laughs> Spent hours out there cleaning up the fish. I think I mentioned earlier, I have everything vacuum sealed in the freezer for future recipes for the fam, do whatever we cook. And I, I don't even want to try the salad or obviously the french fries or the french fries, they're good, obviously to make a nice meal. But this fish, if there was higher than an A plus, that's what this is. I greatly guys appreciate watching these videos with my family. Obviously I bring my videos back at home because this is where it starts guys. So, I will see you guys in the next adventure. Later guys.